blood body part splits are optimal for natural trainees. And I've been coaching people for probably 20 years. Half of them were natural, half of them weren't. And I think what we lose sight of, although can help people recover, it, that doesn't determine how your training split should be. From my perspective, I'm going to inject some common sense into this, but from my perspective, what really matters is how quickly you recover. Drugs can definitely help you recover faster, but I, I can tell you for a fact, over the years, I've seen many people who are natural that could recover very quickly and vice versa. I've seen people who were unnatural that could recover quickly and then some who couldn't. When you're thinking about how quickly you should do a body part again, don't think about in my own 20 milligrams of or not. Think about how quickly am I recovering. Now we know that protein synthesis generally, I'm going to say peaks in 36, 48 hours. Your muscles generally ready to train again at we'll say 48 hours. And I think that's a pretty good rule of thumb. What I like to do with people is assuming they recover well is I like to have them train a body part roughly every three, three days. There's also a little bit of variability in body parts. Some people may have sore legs, for example, for four days but maybe their back's only sore for one day. So this is where programming can get really tricky. Now you got a body part that's, a, that's healing quicker than another body part. You also have to factor that into the equation. The way I usually build programs is I have somebody pick their two weakest body parts and those get the highest frequency. So let's say for example, you have really good legs but a really poor back. My back is gonna get hit after that 48 hour window, maybe a little bit after that multiple times, whereas my legs are good, so probably gonna do them once a week. This allows your weaker body parts to get hit with more frequency. You can't just do everything with high frequency. You just don't have the capacity to recover. You can't do crazy chest workouts, crazy leg workouts, crazy back workouts twice a week for every body part. You just can't do it. It, let alone if you're natural. So if you think you can do that, get that out of your head. Here's the other thing, and this is just kind of a, from a bodybuilder perspective. When you're doing whole body splits, sometimes they're not as fun because I like to feel that pump. The pump to me is what really, I love that about a workout, that feeling all that blood in the muscle. So if you do, for example, one exercise for your chest, and then you're moving on to your back and you're doing one exercise, then you're moving on to your arms and you're doing one exercise, that's just not as fun for me because you just don't really feel a good pump. Uh, and again, you have to do that if you're going to train three or four times a week because you just can't do a full chest back arm workout three or four times a week. You just can't do it. There's a fun factor in this for me too. I like to have enough volume to really dry blood, excuse me, into a muscle and really pump it up. I want you to think about that when you're building your programs if you're natural. I'd let, I definitely like higher frequencies. Based on the science, we know how quickly uh, muscles can recover. But we'll also take into account what body parts recover faster than others and then place a focus on the body parts that you need. Then have fun. When you're training the body part, you know, obviously pump it up, have fun, have a good time. The drug yeah, they can help you recover faster, but again, it really comes down to how quickly do you recover.